Hi, my name is Dawid Size, and today I'm going to be walking you through how to use the single sign-on tool to access the various applications that we have available through the portal. So let's get started. Alright, so the single sign-on tool that we're currently using is a web-based uh, tool and so in order for it to work, we need to install a plugin that's going to remember and synchronize the various passwords that we have um, for the applications. Uh, currently, we are using three passwords. Now, this should change in the near future, but basically we have a portal password. We have a single sign-on password, and that's using this tool called Okta. And then we have uh, passwords for the various applications. Now, what we've done is we've unified the the password that we use for the applications because they have similar password uh, requirements uh, and the same for these other two. But in order to use this tool, we what we need to do is first go and synchronize and install the plugin. So for example, if we go ahead and log into the portal with our known credentials, what we'll see is if we try to log in, for example, to Adobe Connect, uh, by clicking on the link here and then we'll click on the button. This tells, this is the actual si single sign-on tool and we can tell here that in the heading that is trying to connect us to Adobe Connect. So let's go ahead and enter our password and now that's, that sign-in failed and uh, you, you notice that the Adobe Connect header has disappeared. This uh, screen that we have now is actually to this is actually to the single sign-on tool itself so to, to get things going what we need to do here is we're going to log in to the single sign-on tool using the single sign-on password that was also provided to us and I promise you that you only have to do this once and then afterwards um, you'll notice that you know, you'll be able to log in seamlessly depending on which browser that you install the plugin uh, on. So let's go ahead and sign in. And you can see now that it's trying to connect to Adobe Connect. And it failed again because we uh, didn't, we haven't yet installed the plugin. So now we're going to click this button here. It tells us that these apps are available. You notice that each of them have an exclamation uh, mark by them. And now what we're going to do is install the plugin. And I'm using Firefox. Uh, experience may vary a little bit depending on um, which browser that you're using, but I'm just going to go ahead and tell Firefox which we recommend you use uh, to allow. And then I'm going to install it, and it tells us that, tells us that the, the uh, plugin has been installed. So I can close out of this. And if I just refresh this page, voila, you see the exclamation marks are gone and these are now available. So <clears throat> we're still in the setup process. So what I want to do now is I want to click on box. I want to try to sign in. Uh, and I put my credentials here earlier, but if it prompted me for credentials, all I would have to do is come back over here and go down to the apps, grab that password, copy and paste. So let's try Adobe Connect. And I, I, I had already uh, put my credentials there so you can see that that's working. And let's try again with uh, Gmail. And it's going to put my credentials and then it's going to sign me in. So now what we can do is after we've gone through this process and we've made sure that using the single sign-on tool, um, which is also available using that URL here, um, once we've gone through and synchronized uh, the single sign-on tool with the passwords that we use for each of these apps, we can actually either close this or log out um, or do both. So basically we're gonna log out of that. We're gonna close this window. 
Okay, and then I'm going to sign back into the portal with the known credentials that we have. Sign back in, and then I don't need this feature here. So basically, I'm going to click on Adobe Connect. I'm going to click on the button, and you, you can see that the tool is logged us into Adobe Connect. So we can actually log out of that. Close. Let's try email. Click on the button. And I was testing with Mrs. Sargent's ID. That's why her user account keeps popping up. So you can see that it logs us in to Gmail. And now we're going to try Box. Click on the button. And we're also into Box. So there you go. So it's a little bit, um, there's a few steps that we need to do to get this set up, but once we get it set up, uh, it works perfectly. Uh, again, you will have to um, go through the process of installing the plugin for each uh, different browser that you use. All right, so there you go. Uh, if you guys have any problems or any comments, feedback that you would like to provide or need additional assistance, uh, please uh, feel free to uh, contact the support uh, team at your leisure and we thank you uh, for your participation and patience